Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayutu. You might recognize my long hairs from three and a half years ago when we as a family sold literally everything we owned, our house, our companies, our cars, our bikes, our motor, everything, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain on this beautiful hill. In today's video, we are going to talk, of course, about the Bitcoin price because we saw this rise to 12K. We saw this rejection and back all the way down to 11,500. What is going to happen next? We are going to show you weekly charts and monthly charts where I will try to educate you and not to freak out, but to zoom out on the two charts. I am also going to share the secret chart on which you can see something very surprising I didn't see before. So make sure you see that part of the video because I have never shown you this chart. I think many of you have never seen this chart. It has to do with Litecoin and Bitcoin and it's an amazing chart. Also going to talk about this very popular blockchain soccer fantasy game in Japan. Going to talk about Paris Hilton, her pussy cat and also <laughs> And I will end the video with a really cool two minute clip that will make you feel good and other people feel good as well. Enjoy today's video, guys. I've been down so long, but my mind can't get no rest. No, no. I've been down so long, but my mind can't get no rest. Easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail I've been running Hi guys, let's take a walk in a beautiful place here again near Alicante, Spain, Hondon de los Frayes, they call it over here. My parents-in-law are living here, so I'm moving around this area a lot because I cannot record videos at the moment in center of town or on markets because then I need to wear a face mask. Mask. And to be very honest, I just don't like to walk around with a face mask and make videos about it because I really am not a supporter of these face masks. Let's talk about Bitcoin, blockchain and life while I walk through this beautiful piece of nature here in the hillsides near Alicante. Um, I am keep being amazed by all these beautiful views I have here. It's such a beautiful piece of nature, these pine trees, these mountains on the backside. I can almost see the sea if you look very far away. Um, I know that the sea is there, so that's why I probably see the sea. If I turn around, you won't be able to see it probably because you don't know it's like all the way at the end over there. Um, but it's a beautiful place to walk around, think about things in life and think about next steps in life. And think about just how beautiful life can be if you learn not to freak out, but always to zoom out. And yes, be honest, did you freak out when we reached 12,400 and when we dropped all the way back to 11,500 even. And we are now hovering around 11,700, which I said in my video yesterday would be the first support level we could reach. Um, I didn't expect that we would drop that quickly back to the support level, but we did. That's another lesson. Bitcoin, like I said yesterday, nobody knows. Nobody has a glass ball and Bitcoin can move in strange ways like it did yesterday. It dropped all the way bam back with this red candle down to 11,700-ish now. So yes, we broke 12k yesterday in my video and then in my video I tried to explain what's next. So this was next. We are now down to 11,700 and from here again, I think we can start to collect our friends that want to buy Bitcoin and go slowly up and break 12k again. I think the next push above 12k will be a bigger push. I think then we will directly take it to maybe 13k with a 1k camel or something like this. If we would break this support level of 11,700-ish, then this chart I showed you yesterday, this one, 
bam this chart is coming into play where you can see the support levels around 10,000 around 8,700 and I think even around 7,800 these are the major support levels to watch out if we would break this 11,700 support level now there is still a small kind of a support around 11,400 500 so we could drop with a quick drop to that level then bounce back to 11,700 um, but then I think we can hold the support in my opinion but like I just said we must not freak out but we must zoom out and if we zoom out in crypto we are talking about monthly or weekly charts I need to look where I'm walking because it's very rocky here and I'm still walking on my flip-flops. I love this flip-flop life. <laughs> still waiting for these flip-flops to arrive at the Netherlands, but we are living in this small village here in Spain and the postal service is not working that smooth yet. Maybe they should step into this blockchain world as well and combine the blockchain with this what Three words app so they can find every location in Spain and can always make sure we receive our packages on time instead of freaking out we were there but instead of freaking out we need to zoom out and if we zoom out take a look at this chart bam this chart is amazing it's a chart with only three lines and these three horizontal lines are telling a long and a very important story because if you look at the first horizontal line that is starting at the top of 2014 and then is going to the right to that way, then you can see that the moment we break that line, we go into the bull run, the next bull run. And that bull run was the bull run of 2016, 17, 18. And then we reach the top of this bull run in 2018. And there we draw again this horizontal line. This time the horizontal line again to the right you can see it this time we need to break 20k before this bull run can even start so when we will break this horizontal line that we drew from the top of 2017-18 to the right this line we are almost nearing that line if you look at the charts in a zoom out way because of course it's still like about 8-9k before we break 20k but again if we break this 20k and we would repeat what happened the last two bull runs then that is the moment the bull run is really going steep up and we will see the biggest increases in bitcoin's price so again you can see the first horizontal line when we broke that one we went all the way up in the bull run then the second horizontal line when we broke that one we went up all the way in the bull run and now we are nearing the third one and if we will break the third horizontal line we will again explode into this next part of the bull run because i am a believer we already are in the bull run because i have seen bitcoin coming up from 4k to 12k now and yes we can always see these small corrections like i said 10 20 30 percent corrections because these corrections are needed in this bull run like i showed you on a chart like a couple of videos ago where you could see that in the 2017 bull run i think we did six or seven corrections of 30 percent so we went up 30% down we went up 30% down we went up 30% down we did this multiple times in the 2017 bull run so this is one of those 20 30% corrections in this bull run if you don't remember the chart I was sharing that time with you this is the chart I shared with you at that time BAM this chart you can see how many corrections we had of 20 30% in the last bull run we are in a bull run at the moment so we will see the same corrections again in this bull run but again if you zoom out you see the end result of the 2016 17 18 bull run and if you are going to break this horizontal line on the chart i'm showing you now this one again we will go steeply up in the bitcoin price again because that is what happens every time we break that line the last bull run took nine months so from the beginning of breaking this horizontal line till the top in 2017-18 took nine months so the moment we will break this line 
Maybe it will be this month. Maybe it will be next month. Maybe it will be in three months. But from that moment on, again, it can take nine months to reach the top. That's why I've always been saying in these videos, it will take another 18 months, one to one and a half to two years before we reach the top in Bitcoin next all time high. Because I really believe that we could break 20K this year, but if we break 10 and 20K this year, that would mean we need another nine months if we would repeat the last bull runs pattern. So really cool chart, really simple chart, but a nice one to remind you what it takes to reach the top in an all time high. And that we are in the beginning of this bull run, you can also see on this chart, bam, this chart was shared by BTC Jack Sparrow. I think he's referring to himself now as Litecoin Jack. The, there before that it was Ethereum Jack. And before there it was Bitcoin Jack. I still need to ask him why he's changing his name all the time. I'm a Litecoin holder as well. And I probably know why he changed his name to Litecoin Jack. I will talk about this in a minute. In this chart, he is sharing with us the factor above a May, the amount of time that Bitcoin was above the moving average. Now, if you look at this chart, you can see we are still acting in this green zone on the bottom of the chart. And then if you look to the left on the chart, to that way, if you look to the left, you can see that at the previous all-time high, so at the all-time high at 2014, for example, we were moving in this red area, in the top of the chart. In the last all-time high around 2017, 18, 20K, again, we were moving in this red area. This red area is the area where we should exchange our Bitcoins again into US dollar tether, because that is the area that is indicating Bitcoin could have reached the top. So in 2014, we were in this red area. In 2017, we were in this red area. Now, in 2020, we are just at the beginning of the bull run because we are still acting in this green area at the bottom of the chart. We didn't even break out of this green area. So that's another indicator. It is just the start of a bull run. Yes, I turned around and I'm walking back to my motorbike because I think I need another couple of minutes for this video before I drive back to edit it again. And also when we take a look at this chart, bam, this chart is a very simplified chart of how the bull runs in the past years have evolved. You can see this green period, this is the bull time. You can see the red period, this is the bearish time. You can see the blue area, this is the accumulation time. Then you can see the yellow area, this is the expansion time. And then again you can see the green area, which again is the bull run time. As you can see on the chart, we just entered this green time, this bull time. And in this green time, you can see again this, this horizontal line. And the moment we will cross this horizontal line in this green area, we will see again this explosive move of Bitcoin upwards. So also a chart showing you not to freak out, but always to zoom out. And yes, if that is not enough charts, I have an am another amazing chart. I refer to this as the secret chart. While I'll walk through this beautiful valley here where the cowboys and Indians were living before. I don't know, did Spain have cowboys and Indians? I don't know. Nah, I don't think they had cowboys and Indians. But I look like an Indian and I feel like an Indian while I walk through these Indian cowboy shaped landscapes. So, ooh, 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 ooh. my God, Didi, you look like Winnetou, you sound like Winnetou, but please don't act like Winnetou because you're living in the 2020 years. So we are now living in the future. We are not living in the past anymore where Indians walk around with long hair in these beautiful nature areas. Being aware of all these cowboys that want to attack them for the gold now this time we don't have gold anymore we are now talking about bitcoins welcome to 2020 but let's refer to this next chart as the secret chart this one bam i found this chart on the twitter of nunya business this chart is a really cool chart because this chart is a chart showing you the pair litecoin bitcoin the top part of the chart, you can see the Litecoin slash Bitcoin pair. And you can see these blue lines on the chart. These trend lines are very important to watch. Why? Because every time that we break this trend line, Litecoin starts to outperform Bitcoin. So every time this blue trend line is broken, a Litecoin shoots up into the air, into the moon, Litecoin moons. And that's an indicator that Bitcoin is going to go in the bull run as well. Because at the bottom part of the chart, you can see Bitcoin's movements 
after this exact date that Litecoin is breaking this trend line. So like you can see on this chart, three out of the four times when Litecoin breaks this blue trend line, Bitcoin go, is going into a bull run as well. So first Litecoin starts to outperform Bitcoin. So Litecoin shoots up and then when Litecoin did its run and it's almost at the end of the run, Bitcoin is starting, Bitcoin is starting its bull run as well. So really interesting chart. I would keep an eye on this chart. I am keeping an eye on chart. So you don't need to keep an eye on the chart because I'm keeping you updated every time I see a change in these charts. So don't keep an eye on the chart. Just keep an eye on my YouTube channel and just make sure you give this channel a thumbs up. You share it with your communities. You hit the notification bell. You subscribe to the channel and all that stuff because then you don't need to watch all these charts because I'm watching them for you and I'm keeping you up to date every time I talk about it. But again, it's a really cool chart where you can see that every time Litecoin is breaking this blue trend line, it's exploding upwards and then Bitcoin is following this as well. So keep an eye on the chart, really cool. Thank you for this really cool tweet, Nunya Business on Twitter. There is a fly attacking me. I hate flies, I hate these mosquitoes and I hate the bees over here. The kids wanted to escape Thailand. One of the disadvantages of Thailand, they were telling me, Daddy, there are so many mosquitoes in the evening, always like between five and eight it's mosquito time in asia so you need to be inside or like spray a lot and but now here in spain it's not just mosquitoes it's mosquitoes it's flies it's bees it's wasps it's all this animals that we didn't have in thailand so i'm telling my kids now that now everywhere we're stung by mosquitoes i'm telling my kids ah, i thought you were going away for the mosquitoes in thailand <laughs> they don't like me saying this and they're like yeah you just want to stay in thailand i said yes I would love to have to stay in Thailand because I felt really safe, really comfortable on this beautiful beach in my beautiful house over there. And now we start to travel again, which is also beautiful. But like I said in yesterday's video, it's not as easy as it used to be because of this whole flu situation. But again, we just go with the flow and try to find solutions. And we probably found the solution and we probably will travel to Austria next week, but I didn't book ticket yet, but I will keep you up to date. Some other news than Bitcoin guys, let's talk a little bit about Ethereum because there is this really cool soccer game, a blockchain soccer game built on Ethereum. It's called Sorare. I don't know how to pronounce it, maybe in Japanese, Sorare, because it's a Japanese game, Sorare. So rare, I don't know how, but this game is exploding in Japan. It even signed a deal now with the J League in Japan, which is the highest league in Japan when it comes to football. I think football is the second biggest sport in Japan at the moment. So this is a really cool game. This game, Sorara, has grown tremendously in revenue as well because I think in December they sold for about 30,000 US dollar and now in July they were selling for 300,000 US dollar. So they are growing very fast, which is another indicator that this whole gaming industry combined with blockchain, it's a very important thing for mass adoption of crypto and blockchain. So gaming, sports, entertainment, all this industry can have a huge influence on their adoption of blockchain and crypto. And in Japan now, this Sorare football fantasy game, soccer fantasy game, whatever you call it, is really taking off in Japan. Their future goal is to sign up many more clubs all over the world. So, so let's see how this gaming industry will evolve on the Ethereum blockchain. Not only gaming is getting popular, also art is and the getting popular, also NFTs are getting popular. We already talked many times about what is an NFT. Uh, a non-fungible token. So this is also getting really popular now because even Paris Hilton was able to draw a cat and sell this cat for 40 Ethereum in total worth of 17,000 US dollar. Yes, you heard me right. Paris Hilton drew a cat, created a digital copy of this drawn cat and sold this digital copy of this cat and sold this digital drawn copy of this cat as an NFT for 40 Ethereum on the crypto platform called Cryptograph. So yes, if I were you, 
I would now start to draw cats as much as possible and put them for auction on cryptograph because then you could you might earn 40 ethereum for drawing a cat i don't think you will be making 40 ethereum because i think it all has to do that paris hilton drew her own pussy uh, munchkin i think it was called <laughs> i'm not referring to a pussy oh my god I, paris hilton drew her own pussy cat called munchkin and this one was digitalized as an nft and sold um, in an auction on this beautiful platform CryptoGraph, where you can auction your products earn 40 ethereum for creating a beautiful drawing of your cat so really cool to see all these developments on ethereum blockchain from gaming to uh, art one of my friends is Veza art by Veza you can check him out he makes great blockchain art and um, he's selling these digital arts as well in this digital world but also of course selling the physical art in the real world really cool to check him out art by Veza that was the video for today guys I want to leave it at this I don't want to make too long videos because I have a lot of problems with uploading the videos here in Spain the internet is really bad here in Spain so it takes me hours to upload a video so I will try to keep the the videos below 15 minutes then it don't doesn't take me that long to upload the video so the only thing I'm going to do different this time is at the end of this video after the outro I'm going to add a short video that I that I also shared on Twitter yesterday because I think it's very important for everybody to realize how simple it can be to make yourself feel good but also make others feel good so if you're interested in feeling better yourself and making other people feel good as well, then please watch the last two minutes after the intro as well. It is a nice video that is explaining you how to do it in a very simple way without spending a dime on it. Really cool. I want to thank you for watching this video today. If you liked the video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. And always remember, you need to zoom out in crypto, you need to zoom in at life, try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I wish you an amazing day and hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye. Acts of kindness, acts of generosity is how simple it is to make people feel good. I was walking down the streets of New York City and a guy walking in front of me, his backpack opened and a bunch of paper fell out on the, on the street. I didn't think much of it. I bent down, I gathered up the papers, handed them back to him and pointed out that his, his bag had opened. Now, in our bodies, there's a chemical called oxytocin. Oxytocin is responsible for all the warm and fuzzies, unicorns and rainbows. It's responsible for all the warm feelings and connectedness we have with each other. Friendship, love. Huge amounts of oxytocin surge through a woman's body as she gives birth. This is what is responsible for the mother-child bond. Oxytocin binds human beings. There are many ways to get oxytocin. One of them is acts of kindness and acts of generosity. It feels good when we do something nice for someone. It feels good when someone does something nice for us. On this particular day, I did something for someone with no expectation of anything in return. I got a little surge of oxytocin. I felt good. He turned to me and he said, thank you. It feels nice when someone does something for us with no expectation of anything in return. He felt good. I walked to the end of the street. I'm waiting to cross the street. And a total stranger who happened to be standing next to me, said, I saw what you did back there. That was really cool. As it turns out, witnessing an act of generosity <laughs> releases oxytocin. And he felt good. And the best part about oxytocin is the more oxytocin we have in our bodies, the more generous we become. It is Mother Nature's way of trying desperately to get us to look after each other. I can guarantee you that that man who witnessed what I did did something nice for somebody that day simply because he saw someone do something nice for somebody that day. So what if we commit to do something nice for someone with no expectation of anything in return? Imagine what happens at work. Imagine what happens at home. Imagine what happens with our friends. But it must be genuine.